So I've got a. I need to cut four legs, 1200 mil long each. And the easiest way to cut four legs, 1200 mil long, they've got to be the same, is to uh, stick them all in the whatever you're using the cut at the same time and cut them all at once. And that way, even if it's not quite exactly the right length, they'll all at least be exactly the same length, uh, which is uh, probably going to be good enough for this. Anyway, there's my 1200 mil legs. That's um, four feet if you're. Uh, across the Pacific. I'll cut them and see how we go. So there you go, four bits cut the same length. Uh, in the end it was a little bit much for my little uh, cheap cheap cut off saw so I had to shuffle them around a bit and cut them two at a time but uh, it worked alright in the end. I'm going to use, you can see it's pretty rusty. Um, one of the reasons is I only got a very small shed and I can't fit big bits of steel in it so um, if I don't get around to using them straight away then um, they sit outside for a bit and it's been raining a lot lately so anyway they've got a bit rusty. Anyway I'm going to use some of this um, rust dissolver, rust remover stuff. Here's a little trick I learnt from uh, 500 passwords. Um, tip it into a little tin first uh, because the rust sort of activates the um, uh, the active ingredients in it so if you if you get any of the rusty stuff back in the bottle it'll turn the whole lot off and you'll have wasted the bottle so pour some into a tin and use what you got in the tin first um, anyway I'm going to have a crack on here and see what it comes up like I think it forms a sort of a white crystalline powdery sort of thing and you sort of brush that off in about 10 minutes or so anyway I'll see if I can clean these up a bit and make them look a bit more here's the four legs for the lift table what I'm going to do is measure them, find the centre point Drill some holes, and um, I've got some threaded rod. Uh, yeah, I'll just get that and show you. Here we are, nice, nice bit of threaded rod. Uh, just a couple of bolts and, and galvanised washers. So that'll be the pivot point in the middle. Anyway, I find the middle point of these these um, legs. Uh, use a punch to mark a mark a spot and uh, drill some holes. I've got to drill quite a big hole, you can see a 10mm one, I don't have a bench press, so, um, oh, sorry, a drill press, so I've got to use a hand drill, so I'll start with a little one and sort of work my way up and hopefully I'll get them all rough in the setter. I've got to drill both sides, so this side and the underside, so the rod can go straight through them all. Anyway, I'll start that process, it'll probably take a while. The legs are 120, uh, so the centre is 60, so I'll put a mark here with a pencil. And then I'm going to use that punch and uh, I'll measure across and get the middle that way and punch a, punch a mark in it. I'm not sure if I can... Oh, it's coming up alright. But there you can see it, a bit of a dimple I've punched in the middle with a centre punch and a persuader. This is the 10mm uh, drill bit that'll cut a hole that that uh, M10, M10 galvanised rod can go through. That's, uh, It's a bit big to, to start with though, so I started with a 5mm drill bit and cut a 5mm hole to start with. So uh, Then I'll move into a 10 and just um, hope like hell that I can keep them more or less in the centre. Obviously if you had a drill press, you'd clamp it in the drill press and um, drill a hole slowly with some lubricant even and that sort of stuff and you'd get it pretty close. But um, I'll get it as close as I can with a hand drill. and. Uh, and do it by eye and hope it doesn't steer off a bit too much. Change your pan instead of going from a 5mm hole to a 10mm hole, uh, I've gone to a 7.5 in the middle. This one uh, was a bit big for the 5mm hole to get a good good solid purchase. You know. Now I've got done 7.5mm holes in all 8 sides and I'll put the last 10mm hole in. So I've got the holes now, I've used a, uh, a rotary tool just to um, uh, file the inside if they needed opening up a little bit and I've just made sure that the, the rod can can go into each hole some of them are a little bit tight but uh, most of them are just about right so now I'm going to do one of the cross members this is one of the inside pair of legs I know it's, it doesn't really make a lot of sense when I'm describing it now but 
Um, maybe I'll put some sketches in the video that will show what I mean. But anyway, this one's going to go here. The rod will pass through the middle of that bit of steel. And the other, other leg will be up here, of course. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to take a few of these things on and get them nice and square.